right, folks. So we're out here, uh, Paradise, Texas. We're about uh, 60 miles from Dallas today. Everybody knows the uh, thumbnail. Everybody knows the story. It's national news right now. And uh, I'm going to spin this camera around in a minute. I'm going to show you where I'm located at. But before we get to this, I want to kind of give you the little bit of the backstory of what happened. Um, Seven-year-old Athena Strand. She's been all over national news for the past couple of weeks. Unfortunately, for a horrible reason, she was taken from her house on November the 30th. Around 4.30 that day, she arrived home from school, exited her school bus, and she got into a brief argument with her mother in the front yard. And I'm gonna show you on the screen here right now as I'm talking, the housing situation. There's a little building behind the main house there that was set up to be Athena's house. Uh, they were doing some renovations. I'm sorry for all the road noise out here, folks, but uh, they were doing renovations and they had set her up a little bedroom behind the house. So shortly after the argument, her stepmother went out to look for her and could not find her. That was around 545, so about an hour and a half had passed roughly since she had uh, arrived home from the school bus. In that time frame, a FedEx delivery truck had made a delivery. And that was really the only thing that had happened there on the property. The, uh, her father, Athena's father, was out hunting. So at around 6 p.m., the authorities were contacted. Um, of course, she was missing. They couldn't find her. The police arrived. And up till about 4 a.m. the next morning, they did a search of the whole property. They searched for miles around that property trying to find her body, and they, of course, never found it. So they went ahead and contacted their only lead at that time, which was the FedEx delivery driver. 31-year-old Tanner Lynn Horner, and he pretty much confessed to everything at that point. He said that he had bumped into her with the uh, FedEx truck, and she was saying that she was going to tell her father, and he was going to be in a whole lot of trouble and this and that, and he picked her up and put her in the truck, and that within an hour, she was dead. This right here is the location where they found her body. County Road 4668 and the Trinity River Bridge. He would have parked right here. I don't know if he backed in or what, but he would have parked right here. And he said uh, in graphic detail that he tried to uh, break her neck, it was unsuccessful, so he just uh, used his hands and ended her life. That's all I'm going to say about that. I, this is a bad one for me. I don't want to get any further in details. This scumbag admitted to what he did, told the cops where she was. They came here and found her. It's an open and shut case. I think we're going to end it right here. One note that I do want to put out there, the package that he delivered to her house when he abducted her and killed her was a package from her mother containing one of her Christmas presents, a set of Barbie dolls. I'm gonna walk down here, my voice is starting to crack up, and uh, we'll take a break for a second. I'm gonna show you all this location, and we'll end the video after that. was ever anybody that I wished the worst on. The animal who did this is the one. There ain't enough pain in the world for you, bro, to satisfy me. So y'all know recently I covered the Uvalde stories 
and I found out yesterday that the company that actually made the casket was the same company that made the 19 caskets for the Yavalde children. Now she was cremated and her mother carried her home from what I understand, but she did keep the casket and she's gonna put all of her toys and stuff in it as a keepsake. You know, what in the world could make a 31 year old person bring a little seven year old beautiful girl down here? It's crimes like these, man, that just absolutely You know, I hate to say it, but it's almost like the ones that you wish you didn't cover. You come and see stuff like this, and it really, it does more than break your heart, man. It, it, it affects you. This, this, is, this is an affecting story. Look at this place, man. This is where that girl... She was already passed away when she got here, but I'm just saying, this is where her little body was. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here, y'all. Uh, to the family, friends, community, everybody. Y'all are in my prayers. Whew. I'm trying to hold it together for y'all, okay? Uh, we're gonna get out of here and move on to the next one. I can't say enough, this is one of those. Y'all have a good one. Bye.